Eaten into a single object. Imagine all the dragon aspects empowering that one yep. object. Um, has this happened before? Yes, yes. it has. Uh, did it go well then? No. Will it backfire now? Almost certainly. That's not good. Hey everyone and welcome back to another Warcraft lore video. So, today we're going to be diving into something super fun. How okay. abundantly clear it is that the Heart of Azeroth will be used against us. And how even from Blaze's End, I'm sure that once 83 ends, they're going to enjoy blowing the darn thing up given how much design bother it's so causing the this class, expansion. So will the players. So, the Heart of Azeroth is yeah. a part of Magni's plan to save the planet, yet it seems like it could end up doing very much the opposite. The King of Diamonds has opposite. been made upon. Magni could not have been thinking clearly when it came to this plan. And I cannot blame him because we're still working in bringing today's sponsor, Skillshare, to Azeroth. But of course, you're on Earth, so you do have it. Skillshare, an online learning community with over 25,000 courses in design, business, and productivity, and more, all for $10 a month with their premium annual subscription. But the great thing is, you can get two months for free by following my link down in that video description. And Magni should totally check out Design Thinking how to use creative problem solving for better design. You know, okay. the kind of thing that might yep. keep you from uh, designing the heart of Azeroth Very and true. Then over to an average god. Seriously though, it's a great course for sharpening your creative thinking, as are many others that I've highlighted before, like the masterclass from Thomas Frank, who is a fantastic YouTuber. So, join over 7 million creators on Skillshare with two free months through my link below. Thank you to them okay. for supporting this channel and supporting our team. And with that, let's get into the video. Okay, so the heart of Azeroth. We're gonna obviously watch the thing, right? We're gonna watch oh, the Dude, what? That reminds me. I was watching. All right. Uh, let's go back. There are a lot of very spooky hints about it in patch 8.2, even ones from Ashara herself. Okay. And we will cover those, but there is an even more sort of spooky historical parallel between the Heart of Azeroth and the Dragon Soul. It's Ooh. pretty wild, and it's not that subtle, especially with what they do in this upcoming Thank you, patch. Anonymous. So I the going. Demon Soul was created by the way, Demon better. Soul, Dragon Soul, those words are sort of used interchangeably uh, between the books and the in-game lore. But yeah, anyway, nobody the Demon knows. Soul was created using the essence of dragons and demons along with Deathwing's blood and the power of the old god. They, the old gods, then manipulated Deathwing into thinking that he could essentially rule over all using it. Now, after its creation, Deathwing then convinced the other Dragonflight leaders to pour their essence into the soul, empowering it greatly and preventing them from damaging it. Uh, remember that these empowered Ooh, dragon Galacrond. essences, they come directly from the Titans. That's a big after, boy. Uh, defeating Galakrond, the Titans empowered yeah. the leaders of each flight through their Azerothian keepers. Now, this means that the Demon Soul... Basically Basically, it That's what they should do, man. If they do another Caverns of Time, they should do Gal the Fall of Galakrond uh, as one of the no. Caverns of Time. That'd be fucking badass, dude. No, no. That'd be so good. No, that would be terrible. It'd be so good. Like, think about how big he'd be. I mean... Yeah, but that's unrealistic, though. That's why it'd be badass. Because he's literally as big as a, a fucking zone. Yeah, there's, he's as I mean, big as Dragon Boy. Yeah, there, I mean, there's no way you can put a mob like that. I mean, the only way I see fighting a, a mob like that big is to, I don't know, like, fight on its back and then have it land in a bunch of water, which submerges the majority of the bo body, and then you fight, like, the little tentacle thing. I don't know, man. That's I feel like if I they did that, that, it would suck, and it would disappoint a lot of people. Because, like, I mean, people would wait for a long time. They want to see a massive, you know, battle against some gigantic titan. And then if you just relegate it just to fighting two different... Basically, you're fighting his his arms and legs. That's boring, dude. Uh, I, I want to see a massive fight with, like, you know, tanks and, you know, riding on dragons and yeah. everything like that. That would be fucking badass. Yeah. That's what we're Good looking for. Good thing they'll for. never do that. Yeah, of Good course. thing they'll never make a fight like that. That boring. In, in terms of fun tank mechanics, I think Will of the Emperor was really great with opportunistic strikes. and wouldn't mind seeing something similar to that before. Yeah, opportunistic strikes was a great idea, John Ty. Thank you very much for the $3. Sorry I missed that earlier. Uh, it was my bad. I'll make sure that I didn't miss any more of these two. Uh, I, so I, I get behind on these donations. I actually might do uh, push, uh, sorry, text-to-speech uh, for donations so I don't uh, I don't keep missing them. Uh, what's the item required for normal raid? Uh, 415. Uh, that's what I'm going to require. And uh, maybe a little bit higher than that, but we'll see what happens. Thanks again for the other day. Good luck on tomorrow. Uh, yeah, no problem, Mortho. And uh, congrats on your mount, too. Uh, let's go on chat for Scandinavia. Marcus, thanks for the two bucks, man. Appreciate that, too.
as a necklace brimming with the power of both the old gods and the yeah. titans. Deathwing eventually used this against both dragons and demons, only to right. have it stolen by Illidan for use, empowering the portal that would summon Sargaris to Azeroth. Yep. This plan was foiled when the demon soul was interfered with, eventually resulting in Nors Dumu sending it forward in time, and then later on it was destroyed during the Second War, but would later be partially reformed and used by Sinestra to create her dragon flight. And then, of course, during the Cataclysm, well, we go back... Mount God. Back in time to take it from the well of eternity. Right. We then brought it forward in time so that the dragon aspects could uh, yep, further was patch 4 again, 3. seemingly, leading to Thrall using it to partially destroy Deathwing. Okay. Originally, though, the Demon Soul was created through old god manipulation, with its goal being to allow a maddened Deathwing to ravage the world, destroying the planet's dragon protectors and the Night yep. Elf Empire, yep. opening up the path for the re-establishment of the old god's Black Empire across the planet. So you might be asking, Ooh. how is the heart similar? What is going to be revealed to us in 8.2, and what will the repercussions actually be for all of this stuff? Well, first remember that Blizzard love the idea of our actions having negative consequences down the line. Take the Crucible of Storms I like that a that's lot. That's literally a test from Nazoth. So Yeah, I, I really like that a lot whenever players unknowingly do stupid shit that actually ends up fucking fucking up the story in the future. I, I feel like you actually have it in a way, it feels like because it's a negative impact, it feels like you actually did that because you didn't know what was going on, right? And, and I like that a lot. Can somebody invite me if you have Rust Feather up on your realm? Uh, I'm trying to kill Rust Feather now. I'm going to get them out from him this time for sure. Right, what have we actually been doing in-game? Well, we've been running around sucking up all the power that we possibly can right. into the heart of Azeroth. That power is like Suck a titan's it up. blood crystallized. So this has granted us great power, but there are loads of reasons to believe that it may okay. not be all that it seems, with the continent of 2 leading more credence to a lot of past speculations. As with many things, it goes back to the whisperings of Ilganoth. Of course, we all know the line, the King of Diamonds has been made upon. Yep. Uh, now, of course, we received the Heart of Azeroth quest from Magni, and, you know, we don't question it, he doesn't question anything, even though it's a bunch clear, even in the lead up to 7.3, that parts of Azeroth have been invested by the void. I actually never thought uh, of that. Indeed, I, I from never thought the of earth who draws strength, our earth, our strength. Well, Mag Magni Shit. is a pebble. The chamber of the heart is deep underground. Much of the Azerite is from underneath the earth, only bubbling up to the surface now. Then moving on, we've got her heart is a crater and we have filled it. Who is her? Well, you could read that as Azeroth and that directly kind of fits into the heart of Azeroth artifact that we're carrying around the place. Um, and, you know, we indeed as players are going around the, the ground, filling it. Then let us not forget this one. Its surface blazes bright, masking shadows below. This could apply to a few things. It certainly seems like the Heart of Azeroth could be one of them. Okay. While it might be tempting to write this off as old lore, remember that Ilganov also establishes the Circle of Stars, something that actually features in the Ashara Raid of Patch 8.2, so it's pretty darn clear yep. that Blizzard yep. have Legion and Battle for Azeroth plotlines being pretty well laid out and tied together. Holy now, shit. all of this seems a bit spooky, right? But it's only now in Patch 8.2 that we're getting solid proof that all might not be right with the Heart of Azeroth. Okay. And we'll kick it off with the most direct reference, Ashara. Just before the fight with Ashara kicks off, she says this. Every move you've made has been according to my will. That lumbering dwarf believed you could save Azeroth by empowering your shiny little heart. The gift of a sleeping titan. What? Yes. A titan's heart was exactly what was needed. Not to heal the world, but to shatter the prison of a god. Such delicious no irony. Fucking way. The Diamond King has been made a pawn. The ritual nears completion. The Black Empire rises, and the world awaits its true queen. Well, now that's pretty darn similar, isn't it? Wait, what the fuck? She literally just says it? What? But she just says it. What? Like, wait, I, wait, I, th I thought when? this- When? Hold on, when did she say that? Yeah, when the fuck did that happen? When's it, when is this video, when did this video come out? Uh, June 19th, or June 18th. We're so far behind, Oh my dude. god. This has been obvious to most people for like three wait, weeks. Wait, what the fuck, man?
We look like complete fucking jackasses now. Yeah, I had no idea. Well, yeah, because you haven't been paying attention to the lore. The whole fucking time, man. Oh, my it, God. Oh, it's in, they say it's in the raid. Okay, so this happened in the raid. I was going to say if it happened outside the raid, we shouldn't have gone in the raid. But now it makes sense. Okay, that's what she said in the raids. Uh, every WoW player must delete their necklace right now. Oh, my fucking God. I that cannot item cannot be destroyed. We can't destroy the necklace, man. We're locked in, boys. We're locked in. There's no no turning back now. In fact, it's a slightly similar plotline to what we okay. saw previously with the Demon Soul, another, of course, concoction of Nazoth. The whole thing about that is that uh, Nazoth is a character, unlike Cthulhu and yogg -Saron, he was pretty weak, but also his prison was deep beneath the waves, right? Okay. And that meant that he had to manipulate from afar rather than use direct power. So his original right. gambit with the Demon Soul failed, which does lead us just to wonder, you know, is this him trying it again? What's actually happening here? Is yeah. Magni literally being controlled by Nazoth? I highly doubt it, but I think what about being Azeroth? Misled. What's going on there? Like, is there some sort of connection? Well, I think that's where it's a bit more interesting. Remember that Magni doesn't just talk with Azeroth like a conversation. Azeroth communes to him with, like, images and feelings and emotions. So there's no communications that are direct. And this likely means that the link between Magni and Azeroth is open to corruption and manipulation and suggestion. It could also be that since much of Azeroth is corrupted, Nazoth is close enough enough to Azeroth to essentially tap into what she's thinking um, or, you know, close enough to sort of know what the plans of the champions of Azeroth are and use those against her. And then with them, well, there's the problem of predictability. Mother is essentially a robot. The yeah. champions of Azeroth are all honorable, stoic types of characters, meaning that yeah. they're very predictable. So if Nazoth is a master manipulator type character, he could call our plays easily. We, of course, do have lines like the King of Diamonds has been made upon, oh and God. they do back these things up, even if it's not directly the oh my isn't God, like mind controlled or anything like that. Now, regardless of what we think about the nature of the heart's creation and the plan there, we do know that it is something that Nazov has factored into his plan. So let's cover the other we majorly important up, parallel here. So the demon Big soul, time. well, that was empowered by the essence of the old gods, but also of the titans. Not directly, instead it was through the dragon aspects empowering it. Blizzard actually called directly back to this in patch 8.2 with this cutscene. The dragon aspects? Ooh. But they gave up their powers to save the world from Deathwing! Readings indicate other compatible essences coalescing in numerous forms and locations. Collection of these essences necessary to fortify Heart of Azeroth. And it's wielder. So as you can see in this cinematic, they talk about amplifying the power of the heart by using essences collected from around the world. Okay. But they do sort of mess up one thing with the demon okay. soul or dragon soul lore, though. Um, yeah, so the dragons powered up the demon soul by that time being called the dragon soul to help Thrall defeat Deathwing. However, in the past, they did the exact same thing, granting their essence Oxymoron, to the soul he probably turned against them. So... Is Mother, like, forgetting something? Is the Lord just generally a bit messy when it comes to time travel? Um, probably it's just odd given how important it is. You should never do time travel in a story. Unless the story is based around time travel, you should never introduce time travel. Like, I, I truly believe that. I feel like anytime you ever introduce time travel into a story, it becomes a problem. And, and it's just like it's opening the window yep. for like a million fucking things to come in never introduce time travel unless the story is fundamentally based around time travel But Mother then does go on to talk about collecting and the other essences that we can use to fortify the heart and then we set off on a journey okay. through a whole range of content including a new quest line. All wow. these new essences. Now, this quest line, this involves the dragon aspect. Yes, the parallels grow. During Patch 8.2's Heart of Azeroth quest line, we go to the uncorrupted black dragons through Ebonhorn while being yep. watched by one of Rathian's agents. That'll be a future video. We then go and help the daughter of Yzera, who's the new green dragonflight leader. We actually discover there a lot of creepy stuff regarding the remnant of the void yep. in the heart of the Emerald There's the thing that we looked at the other day. I've done a full video on that, so be sure to check it out. Yep. Uh, after that, though, we then help the blues and the reds. Through all of this, we get them to grant us the power of their flight to empower the heart of Azeroth. Now, that's a little odd since how Cataclysm ended uh, and the cutscene at the start of the quest line, so we can only assume that it's a less powerful essence than Isn't what was off, back Marcus. then. But here's what really sure. matters. Here is how part of that quest line ends. We've clung to a single hope. You, champion. So yes, 
the dragon flights just go ahead and empower the heart of Azeroth again. That seems just like, like they did with the demon soul slash dragon soul. I mean, it's a wonder they didn't like remember how that oh, panned out wow. last time they all went and empowered a shiny mysterious artifact. But I mean, hey, it's what they said, uh, decided yeah, to do. Yeah, you're right. Now, while this happens, Magni talks about the player and the heart together being our only hope, which is pretty darn funky given all of the Ilganoth teases and what we've directly heard from Ashara. What so the as for fuck? what the heart could be used to, well, it's just a massive concentration of power, seemingly. We've seen new cinematic power? Yes. That Nazoth knows there's enough power in it to shatter his prison. Yes. So the Shower Raid is probably set up as a trap to get us in the right position, the right spot, only to be trapped and then have the heart's energy used against Holy us. Fuck, or, man. you know, it could happen later on, like in 8.3. I mean, we do know, actually, that Blizzard will remove the heart of Azeroth from us with this expansion of the end of it, just like they did with Legion's artifacts. So they could drop a big narrative bombshell. Have Wait, did they actually say that? That they're gonna remove the the heart, like I know I don't remember them ever saying that. They Damn. they did. Yeah, they did. Uh, it, well, if they did, I'm gonna be so upset if they take everything that the heart of Azeroth had and they just replace it with some other kind of bullshit. I, I will be very disappointed in that because uh. Wait, I, why? It's all bad. Well, well, it's because they they've spent like two years developing the system and then they just replaced the system. Like, at the last minute, I, yeah, that's going to be a disappointment to me, man. Like, 100%. Yeah, but it's garbage. Uh, I, I mean, is it really? Yes. It's terrible. Uh... I, I, I don't think it's that bad. It, it, it's just, like, it, it shouldn't hold up a slot. That's the problem, is it shouldn't be a slot. Uh, there should be a separate necklace item that you can get on your own. But I, I don't think that it's that bad fundamentally, like with the essences. I, I genuinely think the essence system is pretty good, okay? That'd be the reason why we lose our hearts of Azeroth and cap the expansion off like that. Okay. No matter what happens, though, the heart has direct parallels. I mean, even look at the heart uh, and compare it visually to the demon soul. Like, they're pretty darn similar. And I think it just pretty much means that this is going to be ushering in a new era of the Warcraft lore. How could that go? I can't tell you. I can't predict the future. Very likely, though, it's either going to be we fight Nazoth in 8.3 yep. and then that's it. We kill him. Job done. We have a new expansion after that. Or it could yep. be that we fight Nazoth. Nazoth actually tricks us into doing something which unleashes the power of the heart of Azeroth and maybe shatters the prisons of the other old gods. Okay. Maybe that leads to Blizzard doing some sort of Black Empire expansion that does a cataclysm like revamp. Hopefully. That's going to be fucking awesome. Things that could happen. Let That'd me be know great. what you think about all of this stuff down in the description. And be sure to check out that Skillshare link. They've been massive in supporting this channel. Holy which is super shit. Important now that, uh, Say what? Holy shit, man. There's a new Ultimate Neckbeard season video. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that, but right now I want to look at these. Uh, I think Ashara's plan is to use the heart of Azeroth to destroy the last remaining... Wait, what the fuck? Okay, um... <laughs> That's good. Yeah, okay. Uh, what was this, is the Magni Skillshare segue, uh, Azroth will be destroyed again until the squish. I'm actually, like, Blizzard, they do need some sort of a way to turn the board over and, and just reset everything. Is this a way to do that? Yeah, I think it could be. Like, I, I don't know if it's gonna work or anything, but, uh, Blizzard, like, with this, I, I'm gonna be honest, with this whole, like, plot line and everything, my faith in Blizzard has been pretty much completely restored for lore. What? It has. This is really good. This is genuinely really good. A am I wrong? Uh, I mean... For writing the really lore. I'm not saying that, oh, my faith in Blizzard making Titan Forging not in the game anymore is restored. No, but just for yeah, writing yeah, I the get, lore. I get, I, get, I get it. I get it. Like, and I think, I think it depends on where they take it. If they, if they manage to write it in such a way that... Yeah it would tie in and be like, okay, this shit fucked literally everything up. You're going to start at level fucking one. You lose all your shit. Everything's gone. Okay. And they like did some kind of level squish with it to tie it in. Then yeah, that'd be pretty brilliant. 
Yeah, that'd be fucking amazing. Like, yeah, reorigination. Yeah, reply code alpha. Um, I, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, I, I, I think, yeah, something like that would be insane. And honestly, I, I, I'm waiting to see something like that happen. It's going to be fucking great. Can we forget about the Lich King? Yeah, I, of course we have. Uh, losing all your collections. I'm going to be honest, bro. Like, I'm okay. Like, if they want to reset the game down to zero and reset everybody's shit, I would be okay with that. 